right, let's get this started. So, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make any car in this game, the Crew 2 on PS4, into a police car. I believe, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only PS4, but, um, yeah. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to make any car a police car. Now, this is clearly a retired police car. It's not a active one. That's why you do not see any police, word police or anything like that. It's just black and white. And also you will notice it does have fully blacked out window tint. But um, let's get her to the garage. And uh, well, actually no, first let me go over some things. So um, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, any car into a police car like I said. But I will also show you the best cars in this game to make into police cars for my own personal reasons. So if you uh, go to the go to the catalog right here, so clearly we have the um, the charger, which is used nowadays in law enforcement. Um, this one and this one I own currently. I will tell you on this one, this is also a pretty good buy to make into a police car. You can take the spoiler off, but if you actually look uh, behind the word US4 to the rear of the vehicle, it does have that hole. You cannot remove that hole, sadly. So um, that's just a uh, buyer's kind of beware. When you buy this car, it does always have that. I believe this car is slightly more expensive. I forget the exact prices on them, but... Um, this was more expensive than this, so I actually bought the uh, Rallycross version first. Um, both really slippery, but um, these are older models of the Charger 2012. They're not used that often in law enforcement, but because they use more of the earlier style, but it's still nice to have in the game. We also have uh, Chevy, so for Chevy vehicles to make into police cars. You of course can make any car like this. Uh, in real life, there's not many of them, but there is some people have made departments that have a few of these as police vehicles. Really rare, but it is a thing. I use this actually for a older style like retro police car, the uh, Impala Sport Sedan. This is the vehicle you saw me driving outside, actually. Which also makes for a very good police vehicle. And you can put some nice grill options that you make it kind of look like you have a ram bar. Um, these two both are ram bars, but then in the backs of the vehicle do not look very police-like. So I do not use them or buy them. So another category you will want to look at is actually in the Cadillac section. Now... In this game, this is the closest to a Tahoe as you can get. There is no other option. This is just the biggest SUV you can get besides from a Hummer. And Hummers, they are not really used as law enforcement vehicles. Unless it's like a SWAT team or some sort of like drug unit. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend buying this if you want to be realistic. I feel like this is even better choice than the Charger, actually. Now, when you look at the Rally Raid, you have that ball lights on the top. The thing about this is, if you look at the very front bumper, it doesn't even have one. There is no uh, body modification on this car, besides from, I think, rims. So, um, yeah, you cannot put a bumper back on. Another good one for a police car, for an older one, is the... Legorado brought ham. I'll show you my custom version, but you can also make it look like it actually has some proper spotlights on it. Now, those are all the realistic looking kind of cars in this game that you can use for police cars. Oh, uh, actually, I forgot one more. So, um, obviously, you saw in Ford, we don't have the Explorer. Actually, I didn't even go to Ford, did I? So, in Ford, we actually, this makes a really good police vehicle too. The Ford Raptor race truck. If you beat the summit, this would also be a really good one. Um, I have not bought this, but 
just offhand, it looks a very roadworthy vehicle and looks like it actually would be pretty good for roleplay. Um, haven't messed around with this. I might buy it sometime, but I don't own it yet. Um, so yeah, that's all the, uh, most like roleplay. Oh yeah, and, uh, this Harley. Um, uh, so yeah, that's all the role. Dang it, I keep forgetting about car after car. I buy too many cars. So, um, the, uh, last one I'm going to show you that would make a good one is the, I'm trying, I forget what it's made by. I think it's not Kawasaki. It's Jeep. Oh yeah, the Grand Cherokee. In this game, that's about the closest to a Ford Explorer you're going to get. Uh, not many body modifications to make it look any closer to it, but this is the closest uh, size-wise. So, one vehicle I did just earlier today actually has all the proper equipment that a police car would have is in the Nissan section. If you uh, go over... If you go to the Nissan Skyline GTR R34 Rally Raid Edition, if you look at it, it has the Ram bar on the front, and it also has dual spotlights. There's a spotlight on both sides near the windows. Um, it has extra lighting. Now, one thing about this car, it does not have any body modifications besides some rims and the, the, um, the brake caliber again. But I'll be showing you how to customize this one and the Cadillac Escalade. I will also be doing uh, stock tests to fully upgrade the test. So, first, I'm gonna show you how about the un, uh, more unrealistic car, the Nissan Skyline GTR. Um, somewhere. Do, 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 there it is. So, when you buy it, you can buy it in obvious color choices. Um, I bought mine in this. It automatically comes with all this text and stuff on the car. Um, I bought mine in black. But you can buy it in any color with the way we're going to be setting up the, uh, the, uh, livery later on. Sorry if I don't say that correctly and annoys people, but I just don't know how to say it very well. So, um, we're going to conduct our speed test right now. Um, where's the nearest location? Uh, let's travel to. Just use my helicopter to get over there. This race we're doing the family thing. One of our own had his house burned down. We so we're putting on an event to raise money. Get in, you got nothing. Um, I might do a tutorial on how to make police helicopters. So that's something I'm still kind of figuring out what looks good and what doesn't. This is based off of actually a Milwaukee police helicopter. Looks pretty nice. Um. So yeah, I might do a video in a couple of weeks. But, uh, yeah, for now, we're just going to stick with cars. Alright, so. Here's our first vehicle. The Nissan Skyline. So, we're going to do a drag test. Um, I'm not going to be using nitrous because it's just inaccurate with kind of driving and stuff like that. I do not have any like pro tuning or any engine upgrades on this car yet, so let's get our front tire lined up. Alright. Let's get driving crazy. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, so here's the engine noise. Here's the horn. Now, um, we are making police cars, but there's no way to put actually a siren in it. So, if you're doing a role play on this game, your horn's probably gonna be your siren, basically. Alright, so, we're gonna do this without revving, we're just gonna hit the gas. As you can see, this is a... Uh, Recent skyline, so it should be pretty fast. Alright, we just 
say 100 miles per hour. Alright, it tops out at 16 miles per hour and stop. Also, when you honk the horn, all the lights go on, and that's uh, for every vehicle. And this vehicle, including the spotlights, go on. This is the only vehicle with working spotlights. The uh, Cadillac, uh, the uh, sedan-like one, the older one, the spotlights are folded inwards. Well, I actually don't know if they're even spotlights, but they kind of look like spotlights, so um, I just call them spotlights. They're folded in so they don't actually turn on. Okay, and here's the other vehicle. Now this is if you want to be the more realistic stuff side. So I went with white on this one. I had this actually originally painted, something I just took everything off. And this is all these stock upgrades. Um, everything stock, motor stock. So we're gonna conduct the same test we did with the other car. First get her on the line. Engine noise. And horn. Alright, now let's see how fast it can go stock. It's just a very nice looking SUV in my opinion. It's very realistic. If you don't like that bar on the top back, you can always take that off with upgrades. Another thing with the Cadillac is it has an upgrade for the front bumper. It actually looks a lot like a Land So, as you can see, this is faster than this in Skyline, but it takes a lot longer to get up to speed. Now, we couldn't get to our top speed there, it looks like, because we just didn't have enough runway. But yeah, that's the two cars are going to be upgrading. Um, let's go uh, put some upgrades on these. And upgrade meaning just engine upgrades so you can see the speeds of this with fully matched engine. Now, you can yell at me in the comments if I'm wrong about this, but I believe the number of the part, the only thing that matters when it comes to the amount of power it gives your car. If not, you can yell at me all you want. But I'm gonna go put the upgrades on this, and um, yeah, let's see how fast it is. Alright, as you can see, I have almost all gold parts. Um, everything's 280, so it's the maximum level. I do not have any golden brakes yet, so that's a long thing. As you can see, my pro settings, they are all... Well, actually, I have all my tractions on. I forget, is this default? Yeah, this is default. So yeah, this is all default stuff. As you can see in the right side, top speed is said to be 140 miles per hour. That is actually very accurate. If not, it goes faster. As you can see it's all first hand. You can see it, you feel it just being a lot more jumpy. I think it makes any different engine noise, but I have only played this game for about three months, so I'm still kind of new to it. Alright, let's see how fast we can go now. So off the gate, you can see it's a hell of a lot faster. See, we already hit 100 miles per hour. Alright, let's see how fast we can go now. 
that six only go 240, clearly goes way faster. I've gotten this thing to go at least 250 miles per hour before. Almost 200 miles per hour before we even reach the end. So yeah, this is definitely a good sleeper. One warning about it is the turning on this does not turn very well at speed. Now, um, if you have a steering wheel, like the Thrust um, 700 or anything like that, your cars will turn sharper, which allows you to take turns a lot faster. Um, that's just one thing to note with this vehicle as very useful. All right, so now we're gonna put max upgrades on the Nissan Skyline. I have not actually I literally just bought this car. Oh yeah, I don't have... I don't think I actually have full stats for that. Alright, well, we're gonna go without the perf max performance test on this car. Uh, sorry, I cannot supply that to you guys, but... I just don't have the parts for it. And I'm not gonna go hunting for a long time just to find them. Alright, so now we're gonna actually get to the... Uh, part of the uh, video that we actually start building our police car. So the um, Skyline GTR, which we are going to be doing first, comes automatically with these rims, like that. It's 51 Japanese kind of style, because it is technically a Japanese car. Comes with the spoiler. Um nice wide body kit with exhaust there and there has this lights right there and it has a nice bar it's not a wrap around see it only goes like it's like a half wrap also has these spotlights right here and one over there so what you're first going to want to do when you get this car is square customize visual part then you should find Find the rim you want to use for your police car. These rims are all the rims I use on my police cars. I choose it depending on what kind of style I want to go with. This one, I'm going to go with this style. Um, so, when you buy it, I always say do not use the very dark black because it doesn't show your rim at all when you're outside or in here. If you're going to make your rims black, I recommend going with the fourth down black, like that, or just keep it as bright as you can. I'm going to keep it the brightest, and you also, when you first put the tires on, it's going to be this big. I put them just as big as you can, because police cars don't have tiny rims. So you do that on both sides, and you buy that. Calibers, you can change it if you want, but I recommend just keeping it black or stock color so after that you're going to want to go to the livery and just hold down square what that'll do is that will take the uh, design off that the game automatically put on the car then you got this base car so then you're going to want to hit create and you see we're in the creator mode so what you want to do is press X Grab just a black square and just make it huge. So the reason why we're covering the whole car with black first is um, if you want window tint and for other reasons. Um, so after you put that one first block down, you want to copy it and paste it all the way around the car. Make sure it covers every inch of the car. Actually, you don't need to put it on top. Um, but yeah, this is going to be our window tint for your car. So um, if you like window tint on your vehicles, this is gonna this is how you're going to do it. So after that, what you're going to want to do is press enable stickers on window. Um, to get to this, you're going to press the options button on your controller. Once you do that, you'll notice all the windows just got covered up. Um, actually, you're probably not going to want to put it on the front because that is technically illegal to have that on the front of your car. 
Um, so after you do that, if you want to make it so you can kind of see through it, you go back and press X to edit your uh, piece that you want. And then you hold down the left top trigger, the, well, the left uh, button above the trigger. And then go left or right to find the transparency you want for your window tint. I'm not all about that window tint, so, but I like a little bit, so I'm going to go at 75%. If you're happy with that amount of window tint, copy. Um, actually, yeah, copy it. Um, you can delete whatever ones you had before and just replace it with your new... Uh, tinted window. So now you got some slight tint on your windows. Um, so what you're going to want to do now, take another square. So you're going to want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 categories over. 1, 2, 3, 4 down. Actually, um, go 8 categories over to this green and 4 down. The reason why I'm putting this is you're not going to be able to see it at the very end, but we're going to make it it's tall, taller than the car like that. Then we're going to make it the whole entire body. So after you do that, um, you just copy it and just paste it to all the sides of the car, including the top. All right, that's glitched out a bit. That's what happens if you do it really fast like that. So the reason we do that is to figure out like things that could prohibit us from making this design like you see how some spots aren't colored like uh where the exhaust is and rims and stuff like that this e exposes all that so we just know where it is um as you did also notice this um is not part of the side technically above the front wheel so that's another good thing to note when you're working on the car itself so we're going to put that back. So um, or I'm going to be showing you how to do it if you want to have like um, lighting in your windows. So uh, you can make little LEDs to put in your windows. But first of all, we're going to go with the basic design. So if you're um, going to be lazy, um, I recommend doing is take a black square, make it. So what you try to do is try to make it not to the height of the window and you don't want it on the door. Well, and we're by the way, black and white police cars. So just like that, you see how I left a little space there between the door. You can do it like that. Or you can cover up the door slightly so you don't have to worry. Actually, uh, no. I do it like this so you can actually see those edges. I'll come in important later so you can actually work on that. So um, once you got that, take another square and do the same thing to the front side. Now with this car, as you saw earlier, it has that weird thing where it's um, it doesn't go anything else on the front right here, only here and back. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with the other side. Put it right to that fence right there. And um, if you want to get extra detailed, I'd go go that way. You would. Um, by the way, the way I'm extending it like this is I'm holding down R1. And you can just kind of free distort it how you like. So um, what looks nice is if you, if you actually make the only the door white. So I make a line along that long and kind of just slowly line it up, slow movement like that until you get it. So then we just want to kind of slowly fill in around the door. Just trying to kind of match the shape of the door frame. So we're going to actually rotate this a bit to go like that. And we're going to move this up slightly like that. Because 
now that piece is covered. I'm going to copy that and paste it. Turn it a bit like that. And you just basically want to go around the door the best as best as you can. Now you can of course get fancy and try using kind of like curves and stuff like that to go around it. I find it's easier to just use the smaller pieces like that kind of slowly working your way around it but you can always do it the harder way so now let's get this side done um one thing to note it's easier to work if you're zoomed in more that's why i see me zooming in so much Another nice thing about having this bright green is you can actually see if you like have any gaps in the car. We're just gonna keep slowly filling it in. You wanna take your time with this because this is gonna be the main thing you see the whole time, kind of the eye catcher. Oh, that a little bit. It's exposed. There you go. And let's just move that over. Alright, so you see now we have this whole entire side covered. So what we're going to do now, we're going to press down, go to that one. Press down the right joystick once. So you see that little check mark. Move over to the next one. Hold down the square button. And just go left with the, with the left joystick. Um, make sure you only get the pieces that are black you're going to be using for your body if you accidentally select one of these with the square button you just unselect it with the square again so once you got all the pieces selected like that you're going to want to press x and confirm that's what you want so now we got that shape we're going to just make it simply a black and white car actually uh, i forgot to check is this part of the oh yeah that's also part of the side uh mistake on my part um so what we're going to do now, actually, uh, police cars look better like that. Oh, that's glitchy. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, I'm going to just try to fix that glitchy looking area. There we go. Is there anything else back here? Oh, you can actually... I'm going to cover up those, too. Any other areas that... Alright. So, another thing that makes, uh, just police cars look a little bit more... ...iconic, I say. Um is having not the bars right not having this part here black this part actually white um so if you're not gonna put the window stuff on like i am what you're gonna want to do is you just cover that like that with your white press left once so it goes underneath so then bam you have your black and white side right there let me show you what it looks like without the windows. So it looks actually pretty realistic like that. So, um, but we are going to be showing how to do the windows. So what you're going to do, you're going to want to make it small. Well, not small. You're going to want to make it long, but kind of tall and have it going underneath the car like that. I'm going to zoom in and try to fit it as best you can without it going in the actual window itself. Go. I'm gonna shrink this down a bit. All right, like that. Now let's kind of. 
tricky because it has that little, doesn't have a black border around this part of the window. Now, if you're really getting into these designs, like you're making badges and stuff like that, you're going to really want to start conserving your parts. So you're going to be using more complicated pieces to make these instead of make, using a ton of pieces to do the smaller things. Right now, I am showing you the basic way to make a police car. Okay, so after you got all your pieces for your white, then you're just going to want to do the same thing you do with the black area. And just select it all as one. And that's just to make it easier if you ever have to edit anything. You can always ungroup it with this. If you press options and you just do the ungroup function. So now that we have that. Now if we take this. And we can just delete the green on this side. And there you go. You have your tinted window. And your black and white. Now we're just going to do black and white for now. Because um. I'll show you how to do the uh, kind of words and stuff like that afterwards and how I do mine. So what you're going to want to do for the back, kind of same thing, kind of just try to fit it. What I do is you go down all the way, make it pretty long, so it's going like halfway up. Then put your camera up here and go up slowly and just wait until you start seeing it in the window itself if you start seeing the window yourself like that now if you're not fully on the back yet like going up the back yet like how it kind of starts before i reach the top of the back you're uh, gonna want to just try to fill just get on the back as much as you can without impacting the window too much so after you have the black part like that you're good um for the right side what we're gonna do we're actually gonna take this and this, put it into one layer, press your options key again, and copy to other side. What that'll do, that will just put the same thing on this side, and you can just delete your green, and there you go, you got that side done too. Oh, I forgot to delete the green on the back. Oh, that looks weird. Okay, it was nothing apparently. So, there you go. Now, same thing with the back. We're going to do with the front. So, go down all the way. Up until, like, you're halfway. Make it the wider than the car itself. Move the camera up. And just go up until you see it in the window. If you see in the window, you want to go down. As long as it's not impacting parts of the car on the front bumper, you're just going to want to go down. Until it's invisible again like that. So now we have our front done. We can delete this. And finally we have our top. The top is the easiest part. Because you can just take your black. Make it like that. And done. Now as you can see it's kind of this matty kind of color. All the way around the car. To fix that, what you do is you press your um, the big pad in the middle of your controller, and it'll automatically it's automatically put to the standard. Um, I recommend standard because everything kind of just pops out the best using the standard. Or you can do metallic; it looks a lot more kind of grainy. Chrome it makes it everything kind of dark and hard to see. Matte it's okay, but it's more for like those body armor kind of looks. And this, I'm not a fan of. So I'd keep it standard. Actually, with this car, I think I'm going to go with a white top. So I'm actually going to delete that. Not copy. Delete. So we've got our black. Leave that there. Take another square. Make it white. Make it as long as the top roof. And just kind of make it wide. You can fit it accordingly how you want it done. But always take every step on the way very slowly. Otherwise you might mess up your design. You never want to rush. I 
Okay, and there we go. Got a nice white top now on our car. So now that we have that done, the way I, make, I write my words in this game is I'll take a square first, color it red, make it pretty, uh, zoom in, make it pretty skinny like that, and then just kind of make it really long and wide. Copy it, paste it, and go up one. Then make this one, like a, any kind of like kind of blue. The reason I do that is so we keep all of our letters in the same kind of level. If you zoom in all the way on the letter when you're placing it, it'll automatically stay on that level. You can just go right. So you can see I have this letter P now. So we're going to move this to the front of our door kind of like that. Kind of set it on that line. And move the blue line so it's like that. So... If you look at this, you're going to look at the Y coordinate. Actually, yeah, the Y coordinate. And you see how it's 84.08. You're going to want to remember that number just in case your letters go off. So you're going to zoom in all the way. You see I can't zoom in anymore. So you want your last one to be P. Go to New. Go to your O. And you see I'll put right on top of it like that. Now you just want to go right. And make sure that Y coordinate doesn't change. If it does, you can just kind of restart again. You kind of want to make the spacing kind of the same as the inside of the letters themselves. So we're going to go with that. P-O-L. I. Okay, you see, look at the Y coordinate. It just slightly changed. If it doesn't change on the bigger number, on the 84, you don't really have anything to matter about, but it will be slightly off if you're uh, looking really close. C. E. Now... Now that you have your word police, what I do is I group it all as one. Group your blue and red line and delete it because you don't need it anymore. So now that you have your word police, they all move as one. So what I do is I kind of fit it. You never want to put letters on handles. It makes it look really ugly. But what we're going to do on this, we have that little crease line. We're going to actually put the word police right on that. So I'm going to skew over so it's not interfering with the door handle. And set down just like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to copy to the other side. As you can see, it's there, but it's all backwards because you can't put letters like that. So what you're going to do is you press your options key, do a horizontal flip. Now our word police isn't on that line anymore. So we're just going to slowly rotate it until it is. So now you have your word police. If you want to put it anywhere else, you can copy it, paste it. Now, maybe you don't want to make the word police again. I understand that. So what you want to do is you do that. Press your, You go over to your police word, you do options, and save to group library. And then it will go into the last category to called local. And then you can use it on any of your cars you want to make later. Like, for example, these are all my pieces, actually, that I've been working on that I kind of save to make it easier whenever I'm building cars. Um, the higher up you are, the newer the pieces are. Down to the bottom are your oldest pieces. So, um, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the word police here. Now, when you change color on the word that's grouped, it will change every piece in that group to that color. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to unrotate it, put it back down to zero, hopefully. This is really tedious. Come on. Alright, sometimes it just doesn't want to 
go back to zero. So what you gotta do is you gotta exit out. And just keep doing it until you get to it. Man, I've never had this much trouble. There we go. 360 and zero will both equal the same thing. Now, you never want to split a word in half just to make it fit. And I messed it up. No, I didn't. Okay, good. So what we're going to do, we're not going to make it the full word police. We're just going to do it smaller and we're going to put it right there on the bumper. We want to make it realistic and put it on the hood. Just use you copy paste it. You'll see how the word police is kind of crooked. You're going to want to rotate it 90 degrees to the right. So then you're on the number. 270 or somewhere around it. it doesn't have to be exact you're not going to notice then you're going to want to do a vertical flip the reason being that in real life when you uh, see a police car they're going to have the word police flipped on the front so when you look in your mirror the word police is actually spelled the right way around so there we go got our nice word police let's get centered a bit more uh, give me a second. I'm going to be right back. i got to plug my headset in. Uh, that's not the right cord. There it is. Alright, I'm back. Alright, so now you got your word police everywhere on your car. If you want, you can do the same thing for the letters 911. You can do the same with the word emergency, whatever you want to write with text. So what I'm going to use my pre-saved pieces actually for this, because it's going to take too long. I'm going to take this emergency dial 911. So you can put it... So I don't recommend putting other text on your door. I recommend putting these things kind of on the back, kind of like that. We're not going to give it a little bit to match the body. We're going to copy to the other side. Zoom in. Horizontal flip. Now that rotation is 34, negative 34 point. Negative 3.4. So we're going to... Negative 3.4. That'd be... 6... 6.6. 6. There. So now that's... Not right. Alright, there we go. Now you got words, uh, emergency call 911 on there. You can, um, place I recommend if you're going to put, like, um, numbers for the unit are, well, this is for my helicopter, but usually you'd want to put them somewhere around the front, kind of like here, front fender. On the front bumper, on either a side like that, or side like that, of course not interfering with the lights. On the top roof, as you know on normal police cars, and on the back bumper, kind of like the word police is. Kind of like that. So yeah, now you have your basic police car. So before we move on to the next vehicle, I'm going to show you how to make a 
a very detailed looking LED light in this game. LEDs are the type of lighting, those red and blue lights you see flashing on those police cars. Now of course this light's not going to actually be able to flash. One of the sad things about this game is you can't do that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go get another block. We're going to make it the dark, the almost the second darkest you can color black you can get. We're going to make it pretty big. We're going to shrink it down later. We're going to make it about that size. So then what we're going to do, we're going to go to the racing selection and go over and grab this one. What you're going to want to do with this, make it as bright as you can. Then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees so it matches the other block. If I can get 90 degrees. Apparently I cannot. So we're going to go this way and see if we can get 270. So I've had that happen before where I can get 270 but not 90. Oh, I hate doing this part sometimes. Right, if that's not going to work, we're going to try this again. Okay, we get 360. I mean 270. Oh, 271, that'll work. Alright, so what you're gonna wanna do, try to fit it to the borders of your box. So um, I'm actually gonna size this to that without stretching it at all. I'm gonna size the box around it down. So you kinda wanna have it equal on all sides, including the top, around your LED light. And I'm gonna copy it, paste it, and move it so it's on top like that. Now what this one you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna change this color all the way to the darkest black you can. Press X and again to edit it, and you're gonna wanna make it transparent by holding down L1 and going left. We're gonna make this, hmm, let's see, we're gonna make it 25% transparent. And there you go, you got a really detailed looking LED. If you want to go even more detail, you can, you can copy and paste that one more time. If you want to like make it to a specific color you want to say, you can make it that color, and kind of shrink it down, then change the color of this to the same color as that, except just brighter. But that's not what we're going to do, we're going to do it so it looks like kind of just a turned off LED. So we're going to do that, we're going to make it a little bit shorter, there you go, you kind of have your little LED look, just going to do, group all four of those blocks in one spot, I'm going to copy and paste it once so I have that for later, and then we're going to put some nice side lighting on this car, actually I think I kind of want it longer, so we're going to take that, we're going to stretch this out a bit that copy and paste it like we did before and shrink her down I'm gonna put a light right here so this is just some nice window lighting type that's actually pretty big there we go now uh, another cool light I think is pretty cool it's lighting like this on um, all along the side um, if you don't want to put detail, you can just do it like that, kind of. Or if you want to get really detailed, you can shrink it down to the actual size and do it individually. Well, with side runners, they're more like this long, so I'd do that. Alright. So, we're going to put these lights in the front of the car. So, usual sets of police cars will have four to eight lights on the front we're going to do an a package on the front so what we're going to do first we're going to take our main piece shrink it down a little bit and we're going to make it a little bit wider and a little bit skinnier like actually no now it's 
Now it's proper skinny, but it's not, not it's a little too skinny. So we're gonna shrink it down to about that size. Copy it, paste it, move it over. Actually, I'm gonna add the green background again so I can see what I'm doing. If you never can see what you're doing, just add your back, green background again. And then it just kind of makes it easier to see everything. Alright, so we're gonna add a little closer. Move that on top. Copy that. Paste it. We're gonna move it over. So now we got our four. Copy it together. Copy, paste it. Now with the front lighting, they usually have this gap here. So we're gonna make the gap about that wide. I'm going to copy it. We're going to leave that there for now and paste it on the front. And you're going to want to move it to the desired location. As you can see, it's going to go up a little bit around each side. I'll show you how to fix that in a little bit after I get this fitted properly. Oh, I see why it's not looking correct. Alright, there we go. So that's now fitted in. What you're going to do is ungroup it. Now, rotate it until it looks flat. So we're going to put it like that. We're gonna, like that. Here we go. And I'm just going to do the same kind of lighting in the back. Except I'm not going to fix this one like I did in the front. Actually, yes, I'm going to. So I'm going to kind of match this with the shape of the back. Now, with the backs of these uh, cars, they usually will have some lighting on the bumpers. But they'll have a singular light. They're not going to have a light bar or anything like that. They're just going to have a single bulb, kind of like this. So we're going to do one here. We're going to put the other one here. Um, more lighting that they have. They always have lights right here. Well, not always, but they usually will. They have light here and here on the sides of the license plate. Oh, I forgot to copy this one over. You can always put as many of these little lighting lights as you want on your car. But... Sometimes less is better. Wait, what is this piece? Oh yeah, that's the emergency call number one. But yeah, here's the here's our final product now in this car. So we're gonna press back, and it didn't save. Well, I'll just show off one of these ones then. Also, by the way, um. The more left you are, the older the cars are. The more right you go, the newer they are. Well, you saw the car itself. It looked pretty good. Alright, so this was our first car. That we made into a police car. So now we're going to switch over to the Tahoe. Well, Escalade. But we're going to make it look like a Tahoe. Alright, select that. Customize. So, as you can see off the bat, it's a pretty big SUV, so it's going to be a little bit more work. So, first thing you're going to want to do is go to your visual parts. Now, I don't recommend changing your hood if you want to go realistic. Because all of them don't look realistic, but I'm not going to tell you what to do. So, now, as you notice, we have 80 front bumpers. All of them look good. I'd say, besides from the ones that are crazy with the things like that on the bottom, is the splitters, the bars, that's kind of a little much. But otherwise, this has just some pretty cool looking upgrades. So what I use though, I like having the no grill kind of style. So I like having kind of the black blackish kind of grill and then I add that light to stand in as a ram bar 
Is that the only one I have? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to put that on. Front fender. You can put that on, but I recommend leaving it off. Rims. Now, it's always up to you what you want to do for your police rims. But, I'm going to go with the ones I like. Do I want that style? I can't see it. Whatever color this is, I'm just going to do that so I can see it now. Oh, whoops. No, I don't want to buy a new rim. Oh, that's why. Alright, so now I can actually see what I'm doing. Ooh, I actually kind of like that. Um, I think we're going to go with this one. Now with this one, you don't want to do that. What I do as I make these ends actually as small as you can. So we're going to buy those. Caliber color, I'm leaving those stock. Now... Depending on what you want, I'd either keep these stock. If you want, if you want your uh, doors to be white and you have your mirror be white, leave it stock. If you want your mirrors to be black, then go with the carbon, because otherwise it will mess with your whole entire design that you're working on. If you're just trying to make that mirror, and also that does not look like a police mirror at all. So yeah, just don't use it. Uh, we're going to actually make the uh, mirror white on this one. So, um, as you can see, it's really high off the ground right now. What I'd recommend doing is go to the second option and buy that. Because it just is easier for climbing. It gives you a little bit more kind of editorial fun kind of area. Rear fender, it's the same thing as the front. Don't recommend it again. Kind of interferes with the door too. See, so it also edits your window slightly. Kind of makes it so you can't see through it anymore. But you can always put that window tint, like I said earlier. So now we're on the rear wing. The rear wing is also the roof rack. As you can see, that takes it off completely. Um, you can add that bar back. What we're going to do today, we're going to actually take that bar off. So we're going to do it like that. Rear bumper, I just leave it stock, but there's tons of upgrades you can do. Depending on what you like. Yep, and you got your interior colors. You can set that up how you want, but I just recommend keeping it black. So there we go. That's all your body modifications. Dari looks kind of like a police car. So we're basically going to do the same exact thing we did with the other car, except with this SUV. So we're going to go to create, grab your block, gonna make this the size of the car, there we go, we got that part, we're going to put that back to standard now, enable sticker windows. And we're going to make the same transparency as we did in the other one. I actually really like how that looks. I'm just going to copy and paste and delete. Ah, dang it. Oh yeah, if you want to put it on the top of this one, it actually looks like a really cool and marked police car. So then, what you're obviously going to want to do, add your black. Now, SUVs, I like making the whole entire back black, kind of like that. Oh, wait, actually, I skipped a step by myself. Forgot to add the greenery. Uh, 
There you go. So yeah, as you, as I said before, this will reveal any spots you might not have known about before. Oh, that's not even covering the whole car. There we go, now it is. As you can see, there's no way to remove that silver line, sadly. So if you're making a highway patrol design like this with the text kind of wrapping around it, that's sadly going to get in your way. It's going to make it a lot more difficult to make. Now, when you're making logos, like I have this highway patrol here, what you're going to do is zoom in all the way on the piece that you're going to start with and then go to your options and go to 2d mode this just creates it into a flat image it makes it a lot easier to see what you're doing it also takes away the boundary limits that the car has so it allows you to move anywhere on the screen but we're going to delete that because we're not making a highway patrol right now now let's get out of this 2D mode. Let's go back to 3D. I recommend when you're shaping around the body design of the car, go into 2D mode. I mean 3D because they can actually see where the car is, so it's kind of necessary. This part's kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna. Okay, we're gonna go down. That's not what I wanted. I'm gonna press X there. When you want to make these look good, you gotta take your time. So as you can see, it edit, it will edit the mirror there, but if you do that, it also is in your window behind the mirror, so I don't recommend that. Okay, we got our front done. Now the back of the car gets a little more tricky. I'm just gonna make this really skinny and short.
I'm going to do some to conserve pieces here. This is a uh, very difficult thing to do. So what you would do is you hold down L1 and R1. You can see it kind of makes your shape kind of move in weird ways. So we're going to do that. Actually, now we're going to go down to 8. And we're going to move over to match like that. Go up a bit. There. Now that goes really well. There we go. Uh, let's uh, group this up. Oh, I forgot to do the white part. Oh, by the way, the mirror uh, will be will be uh, whatever your stock color is if you leave it to the standard so if you're gonna make your uh, doors white I'd make your car white too it's another extra kind of step I know but it's kind of what you have to do to make it look good So it's so much easier to do it if they actually have this window frame.
No, what? I think I'm gonna make this a retired police car. So I'm actually gonna leave this how it is right now. Hopefully it saves. No, it didn't. How nice of you, game. How nice of you. Well, that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys in the next one.